Hi, this is Brian Mars, and I'm going to do a fly tying demonstration on the Normwood Special. For this fly, we're going to need some heavier thread, 140. Dan, here's what I'm going to use. You can use 3 aught, fine gold wire, some saddle hackle in brown, or just regular neck hackle, the Normwood's tail, which happens to be a calf tail dyed to a slightly special color. And then I have um, kind of an amber, golden stone colored fine and dry dubbing. The hook I'm using is the um, Dai Riki 280 in a size 8. It's a curved stone fly slash hopper type of hook. So um, we're going to get going. I'm going to coat the hook first with the thread. I'm using yellow, but I've used orange, so I have a little hot orange head before. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount my fine gold wire in. And that's in there. Then I'm going to walk the bobbin back so it intercepts with the barb of the hook when I leave it relaxed. I'm going to grab some of my dubbing. And I'm going to dub sparse but I also want to build up a lot of body I'm going to work that body I would say about two thirds of the way through or so maybe maybe just a little over half for some Starting out this pattern so you don't crowd it in the front. Okay, now I'm there. I'm going to grab my saddle hackle. I'm going to tie it in the front. Tie that off. Now I'm going to wrap. Backward on that. Now when I get to the end, I'm going to take my fine wire. I'm going to use that to tie off that rib. And then I'm going to do a ribbing all the way forward and kind of be wiggling the wire a little bit to avoid binding down some of the hackle fibers. Tie off that wire. Use the part of my scissors that's designed for cutting wire. Now for step of the wing. I'm going to grab a decent little pinch of the Air. Pull it right angled toward the inner bone in there, and I'm going to grab the tips and I'm going to get rid of all the miscellaneous under hair. And I'm going to stack, which is a little more difficult with this color. Kind of cap tail. Okay, we're stacked. Some people run it through multiple times. I don't bother with that. I will if it's very unstacked, but this is fine. Now we're going to do a pinch technique. Calf tail is definitely some slippery stuff, so really make sure you have it binded down. Give it a test. That's very good. Then I um, earlier pre-picked a hackle out. Here it is from this neck. I a lot of times prefer having hackle with a little black vein in there, sort of a furnace effect, or badger type of thing. I'm going to get that collar hackle cinched in and cut off the little stem in the front. Now we're going to continue to dub the front end of the fly. 
being real careful not to crowd it up. Grab our hackle pliers. And occasionally the hackle is going to give you a slightly difficult time to start out with. But there you just manipulate it a little bit. Uh oh. Boy, a few times now. Clean that puppy out. Okay. And the front I'm gonna wrap a little bit denser, but not not too much. Still sparse. Bring it to the front, tie it off, do a securing wrap right on the shank, cut that front end, fold back, and we're going to create our finishing head. Now I'm going to whip finish. I do two times just because I'm obsessive about not having that head come undone. Then we uh, cement it off. A little head cement. We are golden, ready to go. So this is the Norm Wood Special. A lot of times it's tied with rubber legs now, where you can basically just put a set of rubber legs on each side, either black, olive, or white. I prefer black or olive. And uh, great silhouette. Really great looking stonefly pattern. Proven on the Deschutes. Norm Wood Special.